Yeah, yeah it was uh, actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to go. So, um, it's good progress so far. It's probably the fastest I've ever been in November. Definitely the fastest I've ever been in November. So, um, happy with how training is going so far. Yeah, I'm very familiar with Bob. So, and Georgia is almost identical training style, high end based training. A lot of the sets that Bob and Jack do, they interchange. Bob and Jack have an unbelievable relationship. And, um, you know, Bob sent Allison and me to Georgia. We've had a long tradition. I think we went over it this summer at Altitude Camp. I mean, Bob has coached something like over 30 of the Georgia national team members at Altitude Camps. And it's been a tradition since I think 2004. So, um, you know, Bob has always had a great working relationship with the Georgia Summers and Jack especially. And um, I'm very thankful to have, you know, both of them as my coach throughout my whole swimming process. But um, I'd say the biggest change is I'm probably doing about 10,000 more yards a week. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's more so that the afternoon practices are, are very similar and structured what I'm used to. But there's been some 7K morning workouts, which... <laughs> and we're finishing them in under an hour and 30 minutes so um yeah that's probably the biggest change <laughs> but uh yeah I'm, ad I'm adapting well um you know i might i probably had more bad workouts than i've ever had but you know that's it's part of the process is getting broken down and finding a way to swim fast the next day and um you know at this point i think the biggest thing i need to do is just stay healthy and um i've kind of battled a few injuries here and there and um, I haven't been quite healthy this year, but you know I've, I've been down this road before, so I, I know what I need to do to be very proactive in my approach before and after and rehab. So um, I'm up to the challenge, and you know everything. I can't complain about how everything's going so far. Leon's awesome. You know um, I can't really race him short course because he's pretty phenomenal underwater, and I don't do underwater kicks. So um, I, I try my best to race him short course, but there's there's. <laughs> He can, he can kind of have his way with me short course, but we, we've had a lot of really great long course practices together and a lot of really great work together. And, um, you know, he's someone that I can count on that. I'm going to get his best effort every single day. And I think he knows that I'm going to give my best effort every single day. And, um, and lay on aside, I mean, we have Jay, we have a bunch of other, of those younger ASU kids that are, it's, it's really, is just a great group. And, and Reagan's, her addition to the group has been awesome too. And she's, you know, credit to her, she's doing the same exact work I'm doing, you know, and she's, it's a girl who broke a world record in a hundred backstroke and she's pretty much training like a four I am or so. Um, I think she's going to have a lot of success. Uh, we're, I'm really happy to see her so happy and doing so well in our training group, but, um, you know, it's a great environment. Nick Fink told us that once you, the, the, a jackism is that once you leave Georgia, you're, no matter what you're wearing, you still have red underwear on. Is the, is the, uh, <laughs> is the Georgia hat your did, version I of that? I did bring red underwear. I don't have them on today, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we, even Bob knows, like, it, I go to practice and I, I give the ASU team crap about their football team every single day. You know, every Saturday I walk in and I have college game day on, uh, getting ready for the football game. I talk to Nick a good bit about football. Um, and Bob, Bob knows. He, he knows I'm Georgia loyal till I die. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of how we all are.